What's up and welcome back everyone, it's your boy Blue Inferno and in today's video, I'm going to give you a breakdown of all the cleric archetypes. If you're new to my channel or just want a refresher on what an archetype is, I made a video that's under 4 minutes long that you can quickly go check out. I have a link showing on screen right now that you can click and a link in the description of this video below. As always, I've included chapters in this video in case you want to skip to a particular archetype. And I'll have every archetype listed on the end screen with their difficulty rating if you want to review your options there. The Cleric has a very limited range of options, with no real equivalence to a bow at its disposal. Because ranged combat will always be the Cleric's greatest weakness, I'm going to take that as a given and add a weakness aside from that. So the weakness posted will be a hurdle beyond the ranged combat issue that the Cleric's going to face. Now with no further ado, let's begin. The Purifier. Difficulty, 6. Skills, Divine Protection, and Holy Purification. Perks, Holy Aura, and Perseverance. You're an unyielding frontline, walking headfirst into monsters and players alike. You bless your team with incredibly fast dungeon clear times, and use that to get anywhere you want in the dungeon with ease. And when it comes to clashing with your enemies, you turn into a damage-soaking wall, feeding your enemies endless blows while all but ignoring incoming damage. Strength, unyielding pushing power. Greatest weakness, catching up to your enemies. The Ground and Pound. Difficulty, 2. Skills, Divine Protection, and Judgment. Perks. Holy Aura, Perseverance, and Faithfulness. Once this cleric starts delivering the pain, all your enemy can do is pray their teammates save them. When this archetype lands their judgment on one unfortunate soul, then activates Divine Protection, they just get to feed them shots until all that's left is a pile of pulp. The slow effect on the judgment stops them from escaping, and Divine Protection ensures you win the damage exchange. Strength, great at catching enemies. Greatest weakness, large shields make it difficult for a mace to work around. Steamroller. Difficulty, 1. Skills, Divine Protection, and Smite. Perks, Holy Aura, Perseverance, and Faithfulness. This archetype is the top face-to-face -face damage trading expert in the game. If you activate both your abilities at the same time and land your first swing on the enemy, there's no way they can escape or kill you in time. Although you're unable to reach out and slow your enemy like the Ground and Pound archetype can, this guy right here keeps higher damage output for longer with all the meaty resilience of Divine Protection. Strength, trades damage better than most every other class in the game. Greatest weakness, landing your first hit can be tough. Enemies tend to run when you activate your abilities. Combat Medic, difficulty, 3. Skills, Divine Protection, and Spell Memory. Perks, Holy Aura, Perseverance, and Kindness. If you want to be a healer that isn't afraid to get stuck in with the front line, then this is the archetype for you. Most enemy teams are going to want to beat down the poor defenseless cleric as to prevent support from reaching your teammates. But little do they know, if they lay a hand on you, they're going to have to kill you faster than your teammates can kill them. You're banking on the fact that they won't be able to kill you fast enough, or it'll just give you time to get away. Not all healers are meant to be in the thick quite like this one. Strength can freely heal teammates with low risk to self. Weakness, no direct impact on the enemy's health or positioning. You just don't do damage. Lightbringer. Difficulty, 10. Skills, Holy Purification, and Judgment. Perks, Faithfulness. This archetype is great for an already skilled melee cleric. Your Holy Purification works to enhance your team's mob clear times, and Judgment is always in reserve to help you engage on an enemy, or prevent them from escaping your grasp. Most of your handiwork will have to come in the form of you being excellent in melee, though, so you want all your gear to help you hit like a truck and run like the wind. Strength, low reliance on skills for fighting enemies. Greatest weakness, though. You already gotta be good in melee, guys. This is a tough one to play. Battle Priest. Difficulty, 5. Skills, Holy Purification, and Smite. Perks, Blunt Weapon Mastery, and Faithfulness. The Battle Priest is a powerful flanker, capable of running through rooms and scrubbing the monsters off of them at any time they like, in hopes of getting to the squishy backliners and pinning them down with Smite active. Your skills really help you to tear apart a target when you get there and clear the way to places that most people can't travel to easily. Strength, very easy skill management. Weakness, coordinating with teammates so you don't get gang beat because you're the only one in there. Hope bringer, difficulty, one. Skills, holy purification and spell memory. Perks, advanced healer and kindness. 
You're the guiding light to your team, clearing entire modules of monsters and ensuring healing and safety for your team in PvP. When you're learning the game, your holy purification will pull you through so many scrapes, and your healing magic will give your teammates a second chance. And as you become more skilled, you can clear entire modules alone, allowing your team to be freed up to look for enemies, and you can focus on combat healing and buffing when the battle begins. This is a great beginner's archetype. Strength helps in all aspects of PvE and PvP. Greatest weakness is it's not very lethal against other players. The Executioner. Difficulty, 6. Skills, Judgment, and Smite. Perks, Blunt Weapon Mastery, and Faithfulness. Once you've passed Judgment on an enemy, there's no way and no how they can escape being smote. The endless chain of slow effects brought from Judgment and Faithfulness ensure that once you start on an enemy, they just can't get away from you. And because your skills have such great damage, most classes can't out-damage you once you begin. This archetype really relies on landing that judgment to ensure the enemy's annihilation though. And judgment can be a little difficult to convince to cast sometimes. Strength, almost impossible to escape saying you're landing your hits. And his weakness is making judgment work properly the first time. Holy Artillery, difficulty, nine. Skills, judgment, and spell memory. Perks, faithfulness. You rain holy damage across the battlefield. Being extremely fast and constantly dropping damage is the name of the game, and you play it well. You'll need to be accurate though, as your damage is directly limited by your spell count. So taking advantage of the area of effect on Holy Strike to hit multiple enemies is going to be a skill you want to master. Strength pours out damage and disruption. Weakness though is, once you're out of spells, you really don't do all that much. Buff Cleric. Difficulty, 4. Skills, Smite, and Spell Memory. Perks, faithfulness, and overhealing. This cleric performs incredibly in a stand-up fight. Saying they have time to apply their buffs, that is. They're capable of mitigating damage, dealing enhanced damage, and pushing their hit point pool to new heights before they engage. But you'll always need some time to activate your buffs, and make sure you have a good spell rotation, so that you start your buffing cycle with the longest lasting buff, and end with the shortest lasting buffs. I would suggest trying out Brewmaster, and chugging a nail in the last second before you engage, to reach a peak combat efficiency. Strength, extremely high damage output and damage soaking potential. Weakness, enemies will try to run and just wait your buff timers out. Archbishop, difficulty, 10. Skills, spell memory and spell memory 2. Perks, advanced healer and kindness. You are the team support master, slinging out damage, causing earthquakes, snaring your enemies and healing your allies. A 10 spell cleric needs lots of knowledge on their stat screen and a keen mind at their keyboard to pick the right tool for each job. This cleric works better with a team than as a solo, as many of your stats are going to be poured into knowledge, and you're most likely going to lose out on stats that would help you in melee. But believe you me, if you can master all the spells and have the clarity of mind to use them properly, you can amplify your team's fighting power greater than just another mace on the front line. Strength, a different spell for every situation. Weakness, huge investment in knowledge on your gear. Well, that's all of them, guys. The Cleric only has 11 archetypes, just like the Warlock. Definitely not the least, but not even close to the Fighter's 28. And you can see here the list of all available archetypes. I kept them in order of the video to make it a little easier to find the chapter below if you want to review them in the future. If you enjoy the content and want to see more like it, please consider liking this video and hitting the subscribe button. It really helps out a small content creator like myself. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.